Hey, good day everyone. It obviously was not a good day for our Phillies yesterday. It was actually an abysmal day after the Eagles did not make us any, 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 any happier. The Phillies got swept in a doubleheader, and they haven't swept a doubleheader, as I mentioned before, since 2012. And of course, they got more coming. They got a doubleheader against Toronto this coming Friday. So hopefully that fares better. Or the following week against Washington on the 22nd, we got two more doubleheaders. And we need to fare a heck of a lot better in those. So, coming into this game, we obviously need to find a way to have the next man up fight for your lives mentality. Because you got Hoskins down, you got Real Muto down, they're not in this game. You do got the energy and fire of a young kid, a very solid, in my opinion, prospect catcher, Rafael Marquand. We know Girardi agrees. He talks so highly of him in preseason. He gets his debut today, and Matt Gill had a very, very good tweet about this. He said, no real Muto, no Hoskins. Kingery is active, but not starting. And Rafael Marquand is 21 years old and 202 days young. He is the youngest Phillies catcher to start a game since Joe Sox Holden, which was in 1934, and in the month of September. It was September 30th, 1934. So two catchers, youngest catcher starter in the September. So hopefully Marcan, great defender, great at calling and catching the game. We'll see that. Hopefully he can hit some currently at this level because he is not fully ready on the hitting end of the realm for the majors yet, We I don't believe. But, you know, stranger things happen. He is very talented. He does put good swings on the ball. It's more will his consistency be there yet at the major league level because he wasn't expected to be called up this early at all. But I have full-blown confidence he's a hell of a catcher. And fresh first and foremost, what matters? Can you block the ball? Can you frame the ball? Can you call a good game? And we saw what happened with Chooch, Carlos Ruiz. He was so great at calling a game and catching. Then his hitting came on. I believe Mark Hand's a guy just like that. He's going to be so great at calling the game and catching, and his hitting is going to come on in bunches as time goes on. And who knows? Maybe right away, maybe he'll surprise us and just be a world beater right away, but I just don't see that happening as much. That would be a fantastic problem to have because the Phillies now have nap hitting. Real Muto, of course, has an MRI, and we pray that we get great news from that. And then we also have Hoskins down, so they're going to need some energy and they're going to need guys to do that. He's also going to be the youngest player to appear in a game for the Phillies since Scott Rowland in 96, Mark Han. So this is a very, very, very big day for him as a debut, and congratulations for him to getting called up. But now on the overall team, they're going to need to perform a heck of a lot better. I mean, they need Vinny Velo to pitch again a good game, which is a huge question mark in itself. And then you have Lopez, who is a off and on. Both of these guys, believe it or not, actually have the same exact career ERA when I was doing it earlier for a betting uh, video that you can check out on our channel. And also for exclusive picks, please go over to BPAL Picks. That's linked in the last two videos I put up. So you have Lopez on the mound. 471 career array, same with Vinny Velo. These guys give up runs. They get they have their games that they look really sharp, like the pitchers that people think they could be, but then they can't really keep it at a consistent pace. Both of these guys have had an issue with doing that. The thing is, Lopez, you still have a lot of hope more so for him than Vince, because Vince has had more time to show that it seems like he just can't figure it out as a starter. He's had a couple good games out of the pen, and then he had, I, mean, I don't even want to really call that a good start. He had a solid start against Toronto. I mean, giving up four runs in five innings is not a good start. Uh, he had a solid start against Toronto, and then he's looked good out of the pen. So I would say he still needs to improve, especially if he wants to stay in the rotation. If he wants to stay in the pen and can give what he did against Atlanta, two innings um, only given up, I believe, instead of, he has to limit the walks there because he still walked three people in that game, and a couple of them were no business of walking somebody. But he only gave up one hit in those two innings. If he can start doing that better, then sure. But he's going to need to be consistent, and he's going to need to get us some innings here because we've been using our bullpen with these double headers, and we don't want Velasquez to struggle early and then become that scapegoat pitcher that we just leave in because we don't want to tax everybody again. So we really, really, really need Vince Velasquez to show up and show out today. 
and pitch one of his better games. And that might be difficult because he usually sucks against the Marlins. So hopefully he has a very, very, very solid game against the Fish. Does well. We're able to build and we're able to have offense that gets going. Today our lineup will be Andrew McCutcheon, Bryce Harper, Alec Boehm. Yeah, the rookie. I actually really like that. He's been hitting great. So why not? The dude's in 330 with 19 RBIs already, three homers and an 881 OPS. Hit that opposite field shot. I mean, the kid just looks amazing. Third spot is, I don't think, any pressure for him at all. Diddy Gregorius at four. Gene Segura, who's playing better lately, at six. And then he's now up at 259 with 20 homers, five OBIs. He also has two steals. And in his last seven, he went back down to 250, but he's still playing solid. He just has to bring his strikeout numbers down. His strikeout numbers are pretty bad this year. And he's supposed to be a contact hitter, so that's not good at all. And then you got Phil Goslin, who obviously, uh, Girardi, we know he loves the Goose. The Goose has been struggling, though. Uh, recently, the Goose has to get going again. In his last 15 games, he only hit a 194. This is a guy I look for him to really start smacking around and get going against. And then Adam Hazley, since he's came back in, has been one of our best hitters. <laughs> Ever since he's come off the injury list, the dude has proved how he could be. Last 15, he's 320. Uh, last seven games, he's hitting 412. So the the kid's playing amazing. He's proven why he could be a starter. He misjudged that one ball that seemed like he lost in life. Other than that, he's a Gold glove caliber fielder, in my opinion. I really like this kid. And I also misspoke earlier. Scott Kingery is starting. I'm sorry. I apologize. I misspoke earlier. Scott Kingery is starting. He, of course, really needs to get going. But what was helpful, at least, was he hit that walk-off homer. What hurt was he got injured at the worst time because it seemed like he was building some momentum off that walk-off homer. And then he went down. So hopefully... He's able to come back, show that he actually put a good swing. And maybe sometimes injuries, they're very unfortunate to get, but they can be a blessing in disguise for your mentality because you might just not be able to figure out why you're in a slump. Not only you have an injury, it just lets you step back, relax, and kind of reset. And that could really work out very, very well for Scotty. Now, for Marcan, this is going to be fun. I'm going to love watching this kid back there. He has a cannon. He's a great defender. He's a guy that just knows how to play the catcher position. And he's a guy that the Phillies should be as excited as they say they are about him because he has a good chance to be exactly like I said, like a Carlos Ruiz. Starts very good at fielding, then gets better at hitting. So I believe, like I said coming in, I said this on the Chase and the Pennant podcast that I'm on, I believe the Phillies are going to win at least three of these seven games. I was hoping they would win four. I just didn't think that was realistic. And I still think they're going to win three out of these seven games. They only won two so far, so they would have to win today. And I believe they're going to find a way to do that. When there's a will, there's a way. I think Hazley will have a good game off of Lopez. So my stars coming into this game, key players are Adam Hazley, Phil the Goose Gosselin, who's playing first today, I believe will have a good game off of Lopez. And then Alec Bohm in the three spot, I think, is going to continue to be that spark that we need and really get us going, especially in that three spot. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Let's go, Phillies. Ring that bell, hit some homers, and let's get going. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Hoskins um, and Real Muto, again, are not in today, still because of their injuries that we hope and pray are as short of a timetable as possible. So peace out, everyone. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay chill. Peace.